Hey everybody, movie reviews. Okay, today we have Lucy starring Scarlett Johansson from 2014. Uh, it's directed and written by Luc Besson, who's best known for doing movies like Leon, The Professional, and um, uh, The Fifth Element. Uh, basically, the premise is Scarlett Johansson plays a woman who is in Asia, China. She's in Asia, and she gets... Uh, coerced into becoming a drug mule. So basically what they do is they uh, plant a bag of drugs in her stomach and the bag leaks open. It's basically this synthetic experimental drug and it opens up her, uh, her the you know unlocked powers in her brain. There's this popular myth that used to go around that I used to hear all the time when I was a kid that human beings only used approximately 10% of their uh, brain potential and if you ever you know opened up to more than that you'd have all these special abilities and whatnot and that's basically what happens to uh, the Scarlett Johansson character in this film uh, the bag breaks open like I said she absorbs it into her body uh, her brain powers open up and she becomes uh, more in tune with everything she seems to be able to understand everything uh, and she becomes more and more powerful as the movie progresses. First, she goes out to get revenge on the uh, mob bosses that you know set her up in the first place. Then she goes to look for uh, Morgan Freeman, who is a scientist or a professor who's done a lot of work in this area, to help her kind of make you know grapple with what's going on. Uh, while she's searching for Morgan Freeman, of course, the mob guys come after her again. And, uh, and that's basically what the movie is is uh, concerning. She goes to find Morgan Freeman. The mob guys are after her. And, of course, there's a big confrontation. And like I said, as the movie progresses, uh, Lucy gets more and more powerful. Um, I got to say, I was slightly disappointed with this film. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Um, I'm not too sure. I mean, it was okay. Um, I'm not too sure what they could have done to uh, to make it more enjoyable for myself, but I felt the movie kind of lacked. There wasn't wasn't a lot of whole interesting, whole lot of interesting character interaction, uh, and I think the science fictiony parts, uh, you know, were, were kind of silly. But sometimes I'll go along with that if they're you know interesting in some way. Same thing for the action parts. Uh, I think maybe if they had taken in a more philosophical or psychological uh, direction, I might have enjoyed it more. Or if they just went for the crazy, you know, over the over the edge, um, you know, action mode, I probably would have liked it more. But here it was kind of in between, and um, it it just uh, it just felt kind of flat to me. Um, one thing I thought might have. One thing I think affected me was sort of the acting choices that Scarlett Johansson made. A lot of people criticized Scarlett Johansson. Um, I think they're a little bit hard of her on her. I think she's a pretty decent actress, but she's not one of those people. She's one of those people that's good if she's got good material to work with. And I think she made, like I said, a pretty interesting choice that you, you see people who are decent actors make in a lot of genre films i.e. they act like people in genre movies. You see it a lot in action movies where people will read their lines like, you know, like people, like I said, in a cheesy stock, you know, faux Sylvester Stallone manner. Not that they're doing imitations of him, but it's like this is the way people in action movies talk, so this is the way I'll deliver the line, you know. And I think that's what happened to uh, Scarlett Johansson in this film. There's... As the movie progressed, she talked more and more like somebody in a science fiction movie because she was somebody in a science fiction movie. Um, and I think maybe if they had taken it in another direction, it might have been more engaging, you know, just for me as, as a viewer. One thing I did like, I thought there was a pretty fun scene uh, in the first half of the movie where she was taking on the mob guys. Uh, there's a scene where she's walking down a cor uh, corridor and it really, really reminded me of a scene from a movie called Better Tomorrow, uh, part or the first Better Tomorrow movie, uh, directed by um, John Woo. And if you know what I'm talking about, where John Woo is like, or not John Woo, where Chow Young Fat 
is like going down the hall and he's taking on these mob guys who are who are like popping in and out uh and, you know he's got his trench coat on and everything i think there's a similar scene with scarlett johansson where she's got a hospital gown on she's got her two you know automatic pistols with her and la di da da i thought that was kind of a fun scene um, now, ironically, another movie starring Scarlett Johansson that I liked, that I liked a lot better, uh, it came out, you know, right before, um, or, let's see, I'm trying to think, did it come out, it came out not, not too, you know, more or less around the same time, uh, I think Under, it was a movie called Under Skin, Under Skin might have come out, like, right before Lucy, uh, from 2013, it was directed by Jonathan Glazer, and it was uh, based on a novel by a man named Michael Faber. Uh, this movie is very, very different. It's a, it's another genre flick, but it's basically a science fiction art movie. Um, it doesn't really have a conventional plot uh, per se. It's not a lot of A, B, C, D, and then the third act or fourth act or whatever. Um, the premise is basically, uh, Scarlett Johansson is an alien and she more or less, uh, tricks guys to coming back to her house and I guess the aliens, um, more or less, I guess, absorb these guys' energy for, you know, whatever. It's really not totally explained in, in a, in a very conventional way, but, uh, but that's that's basically what what it is, and you basically see Scarlett Johansson going around, like I said, sometimes tricking guys, sometimes just interacting with people, and I like that movie a lot better. There's another guy on a motorcycle who's supposed to be an alien as well, and um, you know, sometimes he's kind of it seems like he's kind of following uh, Scarlett Johansson's character around a little bit to check up on her or something. I'm not 100% sure what his purpose was, but, uh, you know, without giving too much away, I, I, I think that's what it, what his deal was. I think they're supposed to be both there to do a certain thing and he's got to kind of like follow up behind or whatever. But, uh, but I like this movie. I think the irony of this movie is here's Scarlett Johansson playing, uh, an unquestionably inhuman person, uh, inhuman character, but her interactions, like I said, with men and other people in this particular movie are way more believable than in the uh, film Lucy. I mean, she talks naturally. She has uh, lines that sound like natural di uh, dialogue. My understanding is I think, you know, they actually ad-libbed a lot of stuff for this particular movie. Uh, but it, it worked for me. Um, it, the movie is really, what really carries the movie is the cinematography and the uh, and the atmosphere. Um, like I said, I, I kind of have to like uh, warn people when I recommend this movie to them because, like I said, it's not a really conventional movie. And if you're looking for action and plot and this happens, then this happens, then this happens, you'll probably be disappointed. But if you're willing to like kind of like sit down and just kind of like get immersed in the mood of the film you you might like it okay so that's it i gotta thank you very much for uh hanging out with me and you have a good day